today our topic of discussion is terminal velocity so first of all we will define what is terminal velocity constant velocity attained by an object when drag force becomes equal to applied force consider a body is moving through a viscous medium we know when an object moves through a medium a drag force is exerted upon that object when the drag force and applied force becomes equal and objects start to move with a constant velocity we call this velocity terminal velocity examples include the terminal velocity attained by rain droplet while falling under the action of gravity and a similar example is of fog droplet the fog droplet often seen as a stationary or very slowly falling object in the air it falls with a constant velocity due to drag force being equal to gravitational force and thus we say fog droplet moves with a terminal velocity so let's calculate the terminal velocity of this fog droplet consider a water water droplet in fog is a falling under the action of gravity that is its weight mg is pulling this fog droplet downward as it moves down it gains velocity due to gravitational acceleration as velocity increases by stokes law drag force also increases net force acting on this droplet will be weight and drag force when we find the difference of these two forces we will get net force weight is downward drag force is upward so net force is equal to weight minus drag force a stage comes when drag force acting on a droplet become equal to its weight at this stage net force acting on the droplet becomes zero so net force is equal to zero and thus zero is equal to weight minus drag force we will we will rearrange this equation and it becomes weight is equal to drag force simply inserts the value weight is equal to mg we already know it drag force is given by stokes law which states the drag force will be equal to 6 pi eta rv if you don't know about stokes law a drag force kindly visit the other tutorial given in the link so we rearrange this equation and the terminal velocity becomes vt is equal to mg divided by 6 pi eta r we just isolated vt here now we will find the value of mass and volume to insert this equation the mass of droplet is m is equal to rho v where m represents the mass rho represents the density mass density and v represents the volume we all know density is equal to mass over volume so we rearrange and get the value of mass which is equal to rho v and as we all know that the water droplets are in spherical form so the volume here used will be of a sphere which is equal to 4 by 3 pi r cube so we use this uh, volume in the mass formula which is rho v and thus the mass becomes 4 by 3 pi r cube multiplied by rho v is replaced by 4 by 3 pi r cube now we will insert this value of mass in above equation which will give us the value of terminal velocity and after simplification we will get 2g r square rho over 9 eta 
This is the relation which will give us the terminal velocity of a droplet or a fog droplet falling under the action of weight or gravitational field in air.